Okay, before we can learn how to sideload our applications or Android applications onto the uh, playbook, we need to set up the playbook itself. And we do this by turning it on to start with. And I can just get rid of that one there. And what we need to do is we need to tap the little cog up there. And then we need to click on security or tap security. And then we need to tap on development mode. Now you need to make sure development mode is on, note down the development address, and that's basically all you need to do. So if it was off, then you just do that, and it will ask you for a new password. And uh, once you've done that, you've basically set up the system. So I'm just going to move you over there and type in my password, which I do not want to show anyone. Okay, so that's now been typed in and my development mode is on. So I can just go back to um, the home screen. So I'll just bring that down there. And you'll see now you've got a new little icon up here, which is a little man with a little spanner in his chest. So I'm afraid the focus on my camera isn't very good today. Anyway, you can see where it is. So uh, if I tap on that, um, so development mode is on and we've got the IP address here. Now I'm going to be doing this over Wi-Fi, so that's uh, um, the address I'm going to select. And uh, now that my tablet is basically set up, I'm going to show you how to set up the software you need on your PC. Hello, so uh, yesterday I got my brand new uh, Blackberry Playbook and I went onto the App Store and realized there was virtually nothing there. But uh, not at all is lost, we can actually load Android applications onto our tablets. Now um, the process for this um, is called side loading, so you can't simply go to um, um, the Google Play Store and uh, start installing apps from there as much as I'd like to. Um, so basically we reduce to downloading the files manually. Um, now the second thing you need to know is that you cannot just install APK files which is the and Android standard um, application installation package and uh, basically you need to go off you need to find them in a specific bar format. Now a lot of these have been converted a lot of the free apps that we take for granted on Android and I'll show you how to get those in a moment but first of all I'm going to show you um, how to get uh, the main software on your computer ready to um, sideload your applications onto your playbook. So I've already showed you how to uh, set up the playbook ready to receive the apps. Um, so what we need to do now is, first of all, you need to update Java. A lot of users complain that this doesn't work, and nine times out of ten it's because they don't have the latest version of Java installed. So make sure you're up to date with version 6.31 um, at the time of this rec recording. Obviously, if it's newer, then just install that newer version. Um, you can get that from java.com slash en slash download slash index.jsp. And once you've done that, you're going to need the actual side loading application itself, which is called DDPB. So um, you can find this on the blackberryreview.com site. So that's www.blackberryreview.com forward slash forums forward slash topic forward slash playbook hyphen apps hyphen installer hyphen method. And if we scroll down there, we've got the new version, which is uh, 1.0.9. And... Um, uh, it gives you a lot of instructions on how to do it there. Now, I'm not going to take you through the actual installation because it's so easy. Anyone can do it, really. But basically, all you need to do is um, uh, download uh, DDPB um, and install it onto your computer after you've installed Java. And once you've done that, you've basically got everything you need to uh, get um, your uh, your Android applications onto your um, playbook device. So once you've downloaded that, which is the installer there, um, we then need to go and actually get ourselves a bar file. So again, another website I found for this. Um, this lists uh, 71, well, seven, yes, yeah, 71, sorry, 71 um, applications you can download. I'm told there's about 200 out there at the moment that have been um, 
converted by various people. Now, I would suggest being very careful with these. I would suggest only focusing on applications that are normally free on Android. You don't want to turn this into a piracy game where you're just installing any old um, pirated uh, Android app without paying for it. So uh, this is a, this is a way of getting these free ones. I mean, things like Dropbox, eBay, um, they're relatively safe, and you got uh, Google Maps and uh, PayPal. You know, these are all free applications that uh, that um, you normally download. I mean, the one I'm interested in at the moment is Skype, so that's the one I'm going to download and download. I have to log into this one, do I? Yep, so you have to join this uh, forum in order to grab it. Um, but once you've done that and you've got the um, uh, the bar file, then you can uh, c proceed to install it. So I've just downloaded that bar file now, which you'll see um, there, which I've put into my downloads folder. And we can get on with the actual um, installation and process. Now, what we need to do is, first of all, make sure your, your uh, playbook is on and within range of your Wi-Fi. Uh, where do I put the playbook? I'll put it down there. So you can't see what I'm doing, but I'm basically thumbing it on now. And uh, I'm getting the development IP address by tapping on the little man with the cog in his chest um, up on the top bar. And uh, my IP address is 192.168.08. Because I'm using Wi-Fi, I won't simply be able to do a scan. I'll show you what I mean in a moment. So um, the icon's already on my desktop, as you can see. So if I double-click on this, this will launch the main installation application itself. As you can see, I've already put a couple on there. The two applications I couldn't live without were Amazon's Kindle and the Crunchy Roll of Your app because I'm a big anime fan. So anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to go, and go over here and we're going to type in 192.168.0.8. Obviously, this will be substituted for whatever the address is on your system. And I'm just going to type in my password. And then we just click on Connect. And you get this nice little connect dialog. Now, if you don't get this and it just sits there not doing much of anything, then you haven't installed Java, basically. Um, so you need to go off and do that and exit this program and, you know, next time follow my instructions. Uh, so click on Add. And we're going to go to the Download folder. And I'm going to click on Skype Beta. Click on Open. I'm going to put a tick in Skype Beta. And then I'm going to click um, on run on playbook after finish and uh, i'm going to click on install as well uh, yes i want to run it after finish make sure it works so now we're installing sending out the request sending the file so this is all going over wi-fi now i don't have any usb connections or anything set up so we've got 50 percent And there we go. And it's now launched on my my um, my device. So there we go. So that's now all ready. And uh, I will now... Done. There we go. We just need to wait for that little done message. And then it's all installed. Now, if you want to remove these applications, you just need to put a tick in all of them and click on the uninstall button as well. And of course, when you want to exit, just click on exit. And that's it, basically. So we've just installed our bar file. Um, onto the uh, the tablet device. So I'm just going to swap back to camera now and I'll show you it's running on the tablet. Okay, as you can see, my uh, Skype application has been installed on my playbook and I've got all the, uh, the usual stuff and it's running just like a normal Android application. Uh, Yes, I do. Uh, anyone? And there we go. So we've got our basic sign-in screen there, and uh, and Skype should work without any major problems. So as you can see, I've got a couple of other applications as well. So what this basically does then is it installs it into your app drawer. And it hasn't. Now, I've had this problem before. Um, as you can see, the Skype um, logo is not there in my app drawer. However, the Amazon Kindle and um, Google, sorry, uh, Crunchyroll applications are. So, um, 
I'm just going to exit that see if that makes a difference. Don't think it would. I mean, at the end of the day, it's not a big deal because you can still access it from um, your your little draw down there. So as long as you've got one application installed, then you can still access them all. But if you don't have any and none of the icons are showing up, then I'll show you how to fix that. Um, whoops, <laughs> get it the right way around. So I'm just going to go back here. And uh, what we basically need to do is uh, tap on the um, cog. Now make sure you back up any files or data you need to um, because this will basically wipe your pad. Um, so what we need to do is we need to do that and we need to go to um, uh, storage and sharing was it? No, it was in security as well I think, sorry. That's right. And what you need to do there is you need to tap on security wipe and that wipes off everything on your tablet and restores it to a default. Um, then just go through the usual process and, and set it up and download whatever you ask you to download. And then when the, the applicate, sorry, when the, um, the uh, program, I'll try that again, when the tablet has loaded for the first time, um, that's the time to install these applications. I found that if for whatever reason um, you install, you access the BlackBerry store and start downloading other applications onto your tablet, then it, it stops for some reason um, creating icons on the app drawer. So my, my recommendation is to get all the apps you want together ready and downloaded, all the essential apps you absolutely need that you want icons for, and uh, put all those um, into um, a convenient folder of some kind and get those installed first. And that will, will then create all those um, icons. Once you've done a security wipe, restart of the tablet, then do the, um, the Android installation first or the side loading first and um, this is the most reliable method I've found um, as you can see I just installed something and you know the app's not there so you know security wipe wipe everything off your tablet um, after backing up your stuff of course and, uh, and once you've done that um, side load all the applications onto your tablet then go to uh, the BlackBerry store and add any additional applications you need then um, this is the most effective method I've got if you want those um, particular um, app icons. So, I mean, as long as you've got one Android application loaded, then you can load up all of them basically. So, you know, if I type on that, then you know, I can just swap between them. So, that's great. So, yeah, that, that's basically side loading. It does have its problems, but you do have fully functioning um, Android applications on your tablet. It's not perfect by any means, but it will expand the usability of your Playbook device.